What's up? It's Jen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are in the car, which means we're going one of two places probably, and it's not the craft store. That is right. If you've been here for a while, it is time for my annual birthday thrift trip, uh, where I take myself sometime around my birthday. It's next week in this case. Um, just go into the thrift store, no real plans, just kind of looking around, maybe allowing myself to be a little more frivolous. Um, I did just recently go through my closet and found a lot of stuff that I just haven't been wearing or doesn't fit that I'm going to be donating um, to a local shelter. So I'm not looking to like replace all of that <laughs> with a bunch of new stuff. Um, if we don't find anything, that's okay. I have a pretty old clip I took um, of some Depop stuff I got over the summer, although it feels like summer right now. I'm literally dying in this car. Um, summer it's holding on strong in Tennessee um, but it's supposed to be beautiful next week so um, yeah so we're um, headed to the post office first I'm gonna drop off this little guy that I made for my aunt um, these are my crochet marshmallow pets that I make for all different types for like market stuff um, I've got my Halloween backpack I'm just I'm ready to go um, ready for it to be fall and Halloween-y. Uh, we'll see what kind of stuff we find. I'm filming this now because A, don't film in a moving car, that's stupid, um, and B, this is as good as my hair is gonna look today. Um, appreciate it now while it's straight and brushed because in about five seconds it's not gonna be anymore. Um, this is the outfit today, just some like jeans, sneakers, my girls need to support girls crop top that I love but I had to buy a special bra just to wear with this because it is very complicated oh it's still sticking out all right before I dive heat stroke let's go to the post office and then to the thrift store Alright, so it's been like an hour, I think. Um, I, I think I haven't filmed a thrift trip since I did this last year. So I was kind of like out of the groove um, and I started to just like not feel that great. 
um, right at the beginning. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have the, you know, these couple things in my hand. I was trying to make a really quick run through and I was like, I'll try these on real fast and then I'll leave. Um, but I started to kind of like get a second win. And then I found that cape, which I got as soon as I like got out of the dressing room. And then I started finding like other good stuff. So I was like, okay, I went back for round two. Um, a couple things that I thought were really weird. I haven't been to this Goodwill. Goodwill. This is the one that's like further from my house and bigger. Um, all of the pajama bottoms and activewear bottoms, instead of a size, they just said NA. I was like, that's not, that doesn't work. <laughs> so that's, I thought that was really weird. Um, this one also, I used to love looking in their like men's blazer section. They have condensed the men's section quite a bit to a point where I thought they didn't even have one. Um, I found like that men's jacket right away, but there were like women's sweaters in with that too. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, the home decor section was wild. It was so crazy. Um, I, I was so like overwhelmed and I was, I was like trying to get out of there as fast as possible. I'm so glad I didn't go there first because I would have probably just left. So I'm not really looking anything for anything home decor wise, but I just want a better experience. So I actually don't like the donation center that they have at this one. So I'm going to go to the other Goodwill that's like on my way home pretty much and just go in there and look at home decor, not clothes, and take in my donations, and then we'll call it a day. All right, so um, just getting ready to leave. The second Goodwill, um, I did not film. I was just kind of over it. Um, much better experience in the home decor section. I did decide to look at the skirts on the way to the checkout, and um, I grabbed two. I didn't try them on, but I held them up to me. And they're both like flowy kind, so all I had to do was make sure they were going to fit my waist. So I think they're going to be fine. Um, one thing I noticed that Goodwill is one of the only places that I sometimes do not bring my own bag because I like using their big bags as trash bags for some of the trash cans in my house. And I don't come here very often, so I don't feel that bad about it. But... Yeah, both places, they didn't offer me a bag. And the first place, that was fine, but I felt really awkward. Like, I, I've had them not give me a bag before, and they fold your stuff for you, but they did not do that. And so I just had, like, an armful of clothes. Um, and at this one, I bought glassware. And she still was just like, have a good day, sweetie. So I put one thing in my backpack and then held the other one while I carried out my stuff. So it's fine. I'll wrap it up and put it in my own bag to carry it inside. But... All right, I am wiped. I think I've been out for about two and a half hours, so I'm gonna go home. I need to do laundry anyway, so I'm gonna wash all this stuff, um, eat some lunch, check back in with you for a final haul clip. Hello from the distant past. Um, I have accumulated some things from Depop recently that I thought I would share and just sort of like insert this clip the next time I do a thrift haul. So the first thing I actually got a couple of months ago, because it was right after school ended for the summer, um, and I was really bummed that I didn't have a chance to wear this to work before we ended for the semester, but I got this beautiful white lacy vest. It even has this little like clip-on bow in the back. I just, I saw this and I was like, I, I need that immediately. Um, I love a vest, but most of mine are like menswear. I have a couple that are more fitted that I can like kind of wear a little bit dressier, but I just, they're mostly like casual menswear things. So I scooped this up right away. Um, I've tried it on like over some dresses and stuff and it's just, it's so pretty. I cannot wait to wear this when we go back in August. Um, so next up is actually the shirt that I'm wearing. Um, I think this is my most favorite clothing item I've ever <laughs> gotten. Um, I love bunnies and I love cute bunnies and I just, I've been really bad about scrolling Depop before I go to bed, like as I'm laying in bed and um, 
I don't purchase things then, but I a lot of times will save stuff and then the next morning check it out. And so I was just, I was like, oh, you know, I should look for a cute bunny t-shirt. And so I found this one. I love the bow. They're kissing. It's like, it's this blight, like baby pink color. I just, I love it so much. Um, yeah, I just, I could not wait to like wash it so I could wear it and I'm obsessed with it. So next, um, I hit quite the jackpot as far as vintage Minnie Mouse stuff goes. Um, if you have been here for a while, which let me know if you have been, because that would be insane. Um, a long time ago, I did just sort of like a tour of my collection of vintage Minnie Mouse stuff. Um, I'm obsessed with her. Um, I've just, I've always loved Minnie Mouse, specifically like 80s and 90s. Occasionally I will like scroll eBay, sometimes Etsy, but it's usually a little too expensive there. Um, Depop, Poshmark, all that stuff for shirts, sweatshirts, um, other memorabilia, like anything, I will collect it. So I found um, quite a few things. The first is this pretty rare I think um I could not find this anywhere else like it's this muscle tee that has Minnie as a cheerleader um I was a cheerleader once but even though that uh, is a sort of strange <laughs> blip in my past um I just I think it's cool regardless um, next I found this tote bag that is a little wrinkly because I just got it out of the dryer. Um, I do not need any more tote bags, <laughs> but it was so cute. I love the paint splatter and it has it on the back. Like I miss this from the 90s, like when a graphic was on the front and that it was also on the back. I just think that's such like a special detail that like makes something a little bit more interesting. Um, it's this little Minnie Mouse ring, um, that I believe I fixed. I got it out of the package, wore it for the rest of the day, went to take it off at night, and she popped off, um, in a bad way, not a good way. Um, it's, I can tell, like, it's a cheap ring, um, but I just, I super glued it back on. Um, if it falls off again, I'll try some, like, epoxy or something, but very cute, um, sizable, so that's always cool. And then I got this um, little like Fuji color heart shaped container that I've just been keeping on my sewing desk. And, but yeah, so that's my little impromptu Depop haul back to whatever video this goes into. Okay, so it's the next day and I've washed everything. Before I forget, I'll show you the two non-clothing items I got. Um, the first one is this little green vase with strawberries on it and I like I grabbed it instantly I could not resist it was $1.99 I think it's handmade and it says to Nana Merry Christmas love Christy 77 stamped into the bottom I take in ceramics I don't know enough about it to know how like this kind of graphic gets put on it, but I thought it was adorable. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it, but I had to have it. I think clothing wise, most of this stuff ranged from like $5.99 to $6.99. I did have a $5 off $25 True Blue Rewards thing. Um, at the first store, I spent $27, and then at the second one, I spent $18. Next, I got, I am a sucker for like, it has plastic wrap on it. That's what that noise is. Um, yeah, I am a sucker for adorable little trinket jars. Um, this really sucks that the sticker is like on top of it. Yeah, there's nothing in it. Um, but it's got this little bear on it. And there's like little bears all on the sides. I usually um, don't go for like ceramic or glass things of this type. 
but oh, okay the sticker's not being too bad coming off but I love putting this kind of stuff like on my art room desk where I just like keep little like various sewing notions and stuff or like craft supplies so I will always find a use for it but yeah it was just too cute I had to get it okay so um you're literally balanced um on a pile of laundry that I will be putting away after this so I got the coat I have been in need of something like this. I have like nice coats, but anytime it's like really cold and I have to like go out in the snow or just like, I, I don't know, like shoveling snow or just like doing something where you don't want a nice coat to get dirty, I have to borrow one from my boyfriend. So it's puffer lining, um, it's Ozark Trail vintage, I believe. It fits me like a glove. If you're a veteran of this channel, you know how much I love plaid, so perfect. It's really, really soft too. It's like really well worn in, but the interior is like really nice. It still smells a little like thrift store. This might need another wash later on. Um, I also got the cape. I feel like my luck changed after this cape. <laughs> Um, this is dry clean only, which I have one of those like dry cleaning kits that you do in your dryer, so I have not done that yet, so I need to do that. Um, I also apparently am like allergic to the color of the week because it was blue and nothing I bought was blue. So I pretty much, uh, I, I expect that whenever I go, but yeah, I have always, always, I have wanted a cape for like a couple of years now and I've wanted to try one out. But they're either like expensive or just something like from Amazon that is like too much for the quality you know it's gonna be and so I thought this was perfect $6.99 to like try it out again plaid and this is a different plaid <laughs> than all the plaids I have um but yeah I think it'll go with black tone stuff or brown tone stuff perfect Okay, next, that goes in that pile. I did get this little champagne colored top. It's just from Zara from that store. I should have known better. Um, I love a good like late 80s, early 90s dad shirt. And this material, I knew I could tell it was worn out a little bit. It looks like it's been patched a couple of times. like. I knew it was struggling. Um, my partner actually has a shirt that is this same material. I can't, there's like holes in the pits. This is gonna definitely have to go in the alteration pile. Um, oh my God, it looks like it's been re-sewn a couple times. There's like really bad um, zigzag, zigzagging stitch happening. They should not have gotten away with selling this for $5.99. Um, anyway, this material is very fragile. Um, putting it through the wash just tore the armpit so I figure I really like the print I figure I got that five dollars off so I basically got this for a dollar it's like a really delicate rayon I guess but yeah it needs to go in like a sweater bag the next time I wash it and it's definitely gonna need some like repair and reinforcement that's gotta go in that pile um last thing i got at the first store those two glassware things i got were from the second store it doesn't matter we don't have to go in order was this gray sweater um how many gray sweaters does one woman need well i guess i only have one other no two other gray ones <laughs> they're all very different um i'm a sucker for little epaulets and this sort of like utilitarian style looking thing and it's very cute and cozy um it's just apartment nine so nothing super special but i really liked it okay then for me second place this one definitely needs to be steamed um this is chelsea and theodore it's 100 percent cotton it's like this navy blue that has this cute little drop waist and then 
is gathered and this is just like soft and comfortable. I love an easy like throw on skirt like this in the summer but this color I feel like will go really well for all seasons. Just really comfy. You can wear it with a t-shirt or you can wear it with a nice shirt. I love, I always say I try not to buy things unless I can wear them to work. My birthday thrifting trip is the exception to that but I still like it when it has versatility. I also got this Liz Claiborne one. This was in the small section and labeled as size small. Um, it's definitely a medium. It's a little big on me but I can take it in. Um, it does have a drawstring so I probably won't need to take it in up very much but I just thought the cut on this was beautiful. Okay so that goes in the altar pile. I'm trying to organize my laundry as we do this. Okay so now for the couple of Depop things etc. I got another Minnie Mouse shirt. But yeah, I again if you if you know this channel, you know that I love a not that it has to be rare, but a a vintage Minnie Mouse shirt, 80s and 90s specifically. Something that I don't see all the time. So if she's wearing an unconventional outfit, something like that. Love it. I also got, I guess from Depop, um, the 90s velvet dress of my dreams. <laughs> this is gonna look so cute this fall with tights or like I have these black bike shorts with lace trim on the bottom. Then from eBay, I got this vintage Girl Scout cookie t-shirt. I actually was watching a Smosh video and Keith was wearing this shirt and I was like I love that shirt I have to find it and before the video was over I had found listings for it on eBay and I bought one and he was wearing his with the sleeves cut off like a muscle tee and I was I was obsessed with that and so I actually got this one cheap because it had like pit stains and stuff and I was like well I'm gonna cut the sleeves off so it doesn't matter so it's technically children's this is like a youth large um, but yeah, I got it for like 15 bucks or something. I think this was also around that price. Last but not least, this was not 15 bucks, but um, the Depop seller that had one wanted $60 for it. And I think I got it for like 40 on eBay. I'm a Pepsi person, Coke people, I'm sorry. Um, this is a vintage Pepsi polo that is pink. The logo is like pink and teal and it is that like good thick quality cotton polo shirt that like feels really good. The tag is like really old. Yeah I love it. I've already worn this a couple times. I've worn the Girl Scout thing and the mini thing a couple of times but yeah so that's my haul. Um, these Depop eBay things I've gotten over the last few months. I've got that other clip of stuff from over the summer, but yeah, I had a really good time. But yeah, this was fun. I love this little annual tradition. I take myself out on a little thrifting date. If you like this video and you want to see more from me, feel free to subscribe. I post videos two to three times a month. I do fashion and crochet content mostly, but other stuff thrown in there too. Thanks so much for watching this one. I'll see you next time. Thank you.